hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel is your girl worry you know the carry last tv so guys in today's video i will be leaving for you guys how i will be watching it together with you guys but before then if you know you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel subscribe like turn on the notification bell okay guys see you guys on my next video bye bye You see the level of killings that is going on in Kanu, Kaduna, eh, 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 where is game? Joss, are you aware of the killing that just happened in Joss? Over 30 people were killed. They just wake up in the morning and they discover that 30 people were killed by who? Fulani terrorist has men. How can we wake up every morning and be seeing the dead bodies of people killed by Fulani has men? And, and every day we wake up, we hear this kind of a news. They are not even sharing it in the news anymore. The, the Nigerian government, through their broadcasting corporation, stopped the media in Nigeria from sharing the news, the authentic news of what is going on every day. This is what our leader, Mazen Amdekano, has been preaching. You see the killing that is going on in Joss. That is the killing that is going on every day in every communities. They are brazing up. They are making sure that they, their plans are effected every day. They are making sure that they invade communities. They are killing everybody bit by bit, small, small. Today you will hear the killing in Plateau. Tomorrow you will hear the killing in Joss. Another day you will hear the killing in Kano. Another day you will be hearing killing. That is what they are doing. The terrorist government of Nigeria is aiding and abating terrorism. But because it's, it's their own brothers. Their own brothers, Fulani, sponsored by Fulani, Mieti Yala Group, Caliphate. So, is it not the thing that our leader Mazen Amdekano has been preaching? My question is why are they still keeping him in prison? Why are they still keeping our leader Mazen Amdekano in prison? Because everything that he said is coming to pass. He only said he did not use weapons, just like the Fulani men are using weapons. He did not uh, uh, use any other thing to, to kill people. He used his mouth. He used his mouth. No wonder our leader, Mazen Amdekanu, said that he's going to use his mouth. He's going to use wisdom to destroy the zoo. And that has happened. It's already happening. The whole world is seeing it. Everybody's seeing it with their two naked eyes. Is there anybody now in Nigeria that would deny that what our leader, Mazen Amdekanu, has been preaching is not true? Is there anybody that would deny that fact? If you go back and play every broadcast from our leader through Radio Biafra, everything he said is coming to pass. Every day, one by one. My question is, why is the terrorist government of Nigeria is still keeping our leader in, in their uh, dungeon? Why? Why? Because it is only our leader, Mazenam Dikano, that has opened the nyash of the Janjawe people. You see any other person that is saying that is fighting for freedom is a big lie. All of them is a big lie. Yesterday, I saw a video from Raf Wasurike, you know, because we already challenged them that why is it that they are not coming out to advocate for Biafra? He, Raf Wasurike made a video yesterday. What was he talking about? He was talking rubbish, complete, total rubbish. You know what I mean? Raf Wasurike was talking complete, total rubbish. You know what I mean? The fight for freedom is on. We are under war. What is going on now in Nigeria? And there is nobody that is doing anything. He was sitting down comfortably in his garden, in his hotel room, hotel whatever, because he's, he's not doing hotel business. <laughs> he's sitting down in his hotel whatever, garden, and was making a quiet video as if all is well. You know what I mean? That is it. Before now, they said our leader, Mazen Amdekano, was inciting violence. Now, our leader has been in prison for two months. What is still going on? Is this killing not still going on? Is the kidnapping not still going on? We are asking questions. People are crying everywhere, every day. So, what is it that our leader, Mazen So, is it not obvious that what our leader, Mazen Amdekano, has been revealing is coming to pass? Today is Psalm 88, right? We are getting close, 150 days. We are already getting close. But we no longer 
have that kind of patience. We can no longer wait for, for, the, for the terrorist government of Nigeria because as I'm talking to you, they have already surrounded all of us. Did you hear Rav Wasurike mention about the atrocities? Because they are enjoying it. He was busy telling us that he's the leader, that he's the leader of Biafra. Who is leader of Biafra? You see, all their concern is to be a leader so that they will go and contact them and give them money. That is everything that they are concerned about. That is everything that they are concerned about. His own brother, Mazen Amdekanu, is in prison, is in detention. They are not doing anything about it. He's happy. He's happy because he's not the leader. Huh? You understand me? Our leader, Mazen Amdekanu, has always been right. And he continues to be right. You see, he has opened the eyes of everybody that people cannot see clearly. In fact, people are the ones beginning to speak. Are you not aware now that uh, Buhari, through his, the imposter in office, presidency, have uh, summoned some of the, uh, uh, some of the uh, journalists on Channel's television? Are you not aware that they want to invoke Channel's television license? I know this has happened before. But as I'm talking to you now, today they want to, they want to arraign some of the journalists in, 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 in prison or court today, as I'm talking to you today now. Because people are beginning to see what our leader, Mazen Amdekanu, has been telling them. And now they are beginning to speak. You understand? They are beginning to speak. Benefit boy. Look at from your name. From your name is Benefit boy. It means you have a fake account and you can never be... You can never be a real person. You know what I mean? If you're a real person, come and challenge me. If you, know, if you are not aware, if you are not aware of what is going on, if you are not aware of what is going on, today they want to, some of the journalists that hosted a program on channels television trying to expose the, the atrocities that is happening, today they have given order from the imposter in Asorok to make sure that they arrain them in, in, in their DSS, uh, uh, whatever, is it facility or today, police station today, or is it in the court? Because I read it. Today, as I'm talking to you, channels, television, they are under threat again. They want to invoke their license again because they say that the program that they are doing is exposing their secret. So is it not everything that our leader, Mazen Amdekanu, talked about? Now, people are beginning to preach it. People are beginning to say it the way it is. People are beginning to say it the way it is. Every second our leader, Mazen Amdekanu, is being vindicated. My question is, why are they still keeping our leader, Mazen Amdekanu, in, the, in their detention? You understand what I mean? Don't worry. Anybody that hide under a name, a fake name, you know, that guy, Benefit Boy, soon you will not hear about him again. He is not the first person now. He is not the first person. If you wish death, if you wish death, you know, against somebody, for somebody who is doing the right thing, who is preaching the truth, you will, turn, you, you, you will be, end up becoming a victim. You understand me? You will end up becoming a victim. Yeah. Uh, Onyeka said, ignorance is a deadly disease. Our people are dying out of ignorance. Biafrans have, have to wake up now. Mazenam, they can't warn us about all this that is happening now. Uh, only because of everybody is media now. That is why the whole world is aware of killing in Nigeria today. Yes, and we will continue to do it. Kelvin Brown said, the spirit of Mazen Amdekanu is in you. Okay, thank you very much. Our leader Mazen Amdekanu, everything that is going on here is not new to us. We already know everything because our leader Mazen Amdekanu has already opened our eyes. Go there. He said, everybody in Asso Rock if you are not a ginger weed, all of them are under threat. If they are, not, if they are not under illusion, if they don't know what is going on, then their life is in danger as well. Because everybody, as we are talking now, they are, there is a huge plan that they are planning to make sure that they, they have already hijacked everything. But they are, they are waiting. There are, are some things that they cannot just do because of what our leader, Mazen Amdekano, has exposed. You understand me? The reason why... Community, some of the communities in Biafra land today is not being invaded. The level of the invasion of the Fulani is not too much in Biafra land again because of the ESN, the Eastern Security Network. The Eastern Security Network that our leader, Mazen Amdekanu, formed. Do you not see the value of the Eastern Security Network that our leader, Mazen Amdekanu, set up? 
Did you not see that even the governors, the senators, they failed? That they could not set up anything that would protect the people. It was our leader, Mazinam Dikano, that set up the Eastern Security Network. Are you not waking up every day? You will hear that communities in social places are being ransacked, killed. They kill people, they rape people. Now, what? be careful, my people. Be careful very, very well. Anybody, anybody, anytime you see somebody, because I see the tricks of the Janja with people, what they are doing now. They create different fake accounts. And what they are doing now is, they will, in the comment section of our broadcast, they will be in the comment section of all our broadcasts. They will be putting, and uh, they will be putting a comment that says, uh, "Join IBOB." This is this and that. They will, they will give details. Ignore anybody that is calling you to come and join IBOB. We are not asking anybody to come and join IBOB. So many people, fake account are coming to my inbox asking me, "Give me the coordinator of a uh, social place." My brother, I'm your brother. I'm from Aquaibom. They 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 use fake names. They are coming to, if anybody come to your inbox and ask you, give me the coordinator of anybody, uh, come and join IBOB. Ignore all those things because they are using, the Janjawe people have paid some people and they are using fake account to try to collect information for, from us. They are using fake account to bring people's life to danger. You know, they are putting people's life in danger. They are using fake uh, account fake numbers and be asking people to join IBOB. If you call that number, you become a victim. Maybe I'm going to do a special broadcast so that this will be very, very clear. They are used, go to all the comment section in our broadcast. You will see that different people are using different numbers, different fake names, and be coming to our comment section. They will, they will copy and paste the message. The message will say, join IBOB, this and that. Nobody is advocating for anybody to join IBOB. This is not the time for anybody to do all those things. It is time for our freedom. If you know who you are, you know who you are. Nobody will be telling you, come and join IBOB. It's a fake account. Please, make sure you ignore all those messages. Um, if I, I, uh, I said, um, Nsima, good morning. Uh, my question is, where is the father of One Nigeria? Go on. How market to his people? Are we going to continue with One Nigeria to enable his people to enjoy One Nigeria as it is now? Uh, Aneke Okudili said, Okudili said, please tell DOS to reintroduce it at home so we can have one voice. Well, um, I think that we have addressed all those things that has to do with DOS, anybody, anybody that is still taking us back. The person is out of touch. Anybody that is in charge of anything should know what to do. We have discussed about, we have blamed everybody, applaud everybody, praise every anybody. We have passed that level now. Our focus is restoration of Biafra to release our leader, Masin Amdekanu, unconditionally. My question is, why are they still keeping our leader, Mazin Amdekanu, in prison? Why? Why? Because everything our leader said is coming to pass. Everything is, every second, we are seeing it. Every second, we are seeing it. Every second, we are seeing it. There is nothing that the Jandawi government is doing to improve the life of anybody. There is nothing that they are doing. Anything that you see them launched is an avenue for them to continue to steal, to steal the wealth. Jonathan said, I'm IBOB by bet. Cross River State, basically IBOB State. Of course, IBOB, we are, is, IBOB simply means indigenous people of Biafra. So don't, don't make mistake and think about it's just an organization. You are making a very big mistake. You understand me? Indigenous people of Biafra. That is who we are. Cross Rivers, Aquaibom. We are indigenous people in our community. You understand me? So, so there is... Go, see, for the past... Okay, start from Monday. Let us don't go too far. Start from Monday. Read every information. Did you see that everything that is going on in Nigeria today is taking the life of people? Is consuming the life of people? Is not helping the life of people? It's not protecting the life of people. Mention any information. Mention. Did you not hear in Nibo, Nibo Biafra land, how they wake up one morning, that evening, how they burnt all the market? They burnt the market in, uh, in Nibo. Nibo is Biafra land. Nibo is in Anambra. Anambra state. 
Nibo near Mbauku. Because I know all those places. You understand me? Did you not wake up and you hear that uh, uh, Nibo market is burnt down? Who burnt it down? Who burnt it down? The Janja. Every day you wake up, there is no important thing that you will hear from the Janja with government. So is it not time for us to understand that it is time for us to be on our own? We have our own indigenous market. We have our own indigenous language. We have our own indigenous food. Don't you think it is time? Somebody was telling me the other day, it takes, it, it takes if you are the one that is importing and exporting, so if you want to clear your container from Lagos, you need at least 1.6 million to clear your, your goods, your container from Lagos to Apapa or any other place around. But they only collect 700,000 uh, uh, 700, uh, to clear container from Lagos to Kano or to the north. So why is it that they are collecting 1.6 million to clear that same container? The same container that they are clearing with 700,000 to the north, to Kano or any other place, is the same container that we are clearing with 1.6 million to clear to, the, to Apapa or any other place in the south or in Biafra land. Why is it going on? Why is that? So I'm just telling you, is there anything that is benefiting us as we are? You are the one that build your house. You did not have any government support. Even right now, they are saying that they want to investigate the source of your income. You know, if you, if you live in a good house, in a, if you dress well, they are not happy. They want to see you in a destitute situation. So what is it that we are benefiting? What is it that our leader, Mazin Amnikano, have said that is not coming to pass? Uh, Joshua said, in Sima, one thing I love about you is that you always remain focused about this struggle without uh, minding the gossip around. Um, okay, thank you very much for that, Joshua. James said, in Sima, thanks for what you're doing. Sabino said, by their fruit, we shall know them. In Sima, my bro, you are doing great. Okay, you understand me? So every day we wake up, every, every day we wake up is bad news. Tell me, somebody will say, why can't you say good things? Tell me one of the good things I will say. Look at graduates. Graduates. The other day you saw NYSE student. How they all died. You know, because on their way to NYSE, because of bad road, everything. And what did they do? They, they used flight, plane, to take their dead bodies to go and bury them. What a shame. Students graduate, there's no job. There's no opportunities. There is no discussion on the National Assembly on how they're going to address all these issues. I like one of the, one of the statements from the, one, of the, one of the senators. I don't know his name. He said that we should close down this National Assembly because we are not doing anything. I can't remember, I can't remember his name. But I saw it. He was challenging everybody and said we should close down the National Assembly. Because it's not yielding any fruit. Every day, they, they set up committee and be sharing money. That is all that they do. Sunday, say, good morning, brother. I come from River State, Yala, local government as Biafrans. Thank you very much. Um, Nsima, say, you are doing a good job. Listen, one my my comrade who is shallow-minded and gullible to refuse every push to insult or do... Please, stop bringing this issue about all this thing here. We have passed that level now. Benedict say, yes, bro. Say the truth. Shame them. Nothing like but the truth. We move. Uh, Anthony say, Biafra is incomplete without Cross River and Uyo. That's a quiet one, yeah? Uh, Alozier say, good job. All hail Biafra. God bless Mazenam Dikano. IPOP family watching from Hamburg, Germany. Thank you very much. No, no, let us analyze it. One of the problems is that every day we wake up and we continue like that without assessing. Because if all of if all the youth, if all the youth that even say that they are graduate, if they wake up every morning, they look at three months of their life, 
they, they look at the, maybe four months of their life and see how far they have gone. They will understand that they have never gotten anything good from the government in which every time that they are doing an uh, election camp, look at everybody now, they are preparing for another fraud that is going to happen. Uh, Zainab say, is their brain working in the first place to know what to do? <laughs> that is a big question. That is a big question. Zainab is asking a very important question. So, and this question is addressed to everybody. Not only the youth, even to the leaders. Because the leaders or the elders, they were once a youth, but today they are old. Some of them who were foolish, even when they were young, they grow old with their foolishness. That is why I love what our leader, Mazenam Dikano, always said. He said that they are foolish elders. He gave a very simple example. He said, in your class, when you were together in your class, there are people that are just so foolish, naturally just foolish. He said, when those people grow up, sometimes the foolishness don't go away. The foolishness grow up with them. They still have it. So it's a very important question. Is their brain working in the first place to know what to do? Zainab, their brain cannot work because they are a product of their environment. They are a product of their government. Today, you know, everybody was mandated to wear, uh, what do you call it, face mask. Is that not the product of the government decision and policies? We can remember that everybody, we were mandated to make sure that we wear face masks. Even up to now, everywhere you go is, so everybody is a product of their environment and their government. If your government is not doing anything to help you, you will become like that. If there is no good school in your community, when you grow up, you will not have good brain. You will not have good thinking. You will just, you will just not going to help yourself because they deliberately make sure that you are not going to be able to help yourself. That is the situation. So the youth do not even have the brain to think. All of them are going into comedy. Do you know why they are going into comedy? Because comedy is giving them money. So they say, okay, since we cannot make money, since there's no job, since the government is not helping us, let us do comedy. There is nothing wrong in doing comedy. But the problem now is that you have made, your, you have made the situation to become worse because you are getting money from comedy and then you allow the situation to become worse because generations to come, because you that is making money now through comedy, you are a young man, soon you become old as well. When you become old as well, what is going to happen to your generation? is a terrible situation and that is why we must have our freedom we must have our freedom as soon as possible sabinu said the security officer told them yesterday that federal government is responsible for the fulanization and islamization agenda going on our leader mazinam the has already told us all these things i'm not even against anybody anything my problem is whatever thing that you are doing should not become a problem to another person. If you are eating your food, your, the food that you eat and enjoy, eat it and enjoy it. Don't allow it to affect another person. That is the problem that we are seeing. That is the problem we are seeing. You understand me? That is the problem we are seeing. You, you can do whatever you want to do, but don't let whatever you are doing to be a problem to another person. That is the challenge that we are passing through. Stand up for what is right. Can I call you? You can't call me now. You, you made a comment about whatever which I don't want to talk about. Um, Chico, they say, good morning. I salute you. Innocence, Nsima, you are, you, Nsima, you are the best because you are making points like Mazin Amdekanu. I don't know. Let the DOS show us what they are doing. Wow. Everybody is calling on DOS. DOS should do something now. DOS, do something now. Joshua said, bro, I still suggest that we add more days in our seat at home. Protest. Monday and Tuesday. Of course, the, 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 the movement currently is on autopilot. It will be the people that will decide what they want to do now. Okon Akwan say, I'm not sleeping yet, my brother. I just saw you online now. Wow. I salute you, my brother. I'm Boba dear. Onye Kachi boy said, Insima, good morning. Biafra must come and Mazinam the Kano must be released. Your good work takes you a good way. Yes, 
Our leader, Mazinam Dikanu, has told us already what is going to happen. See, everything that is going on now is not a new thing to us. People don't even know what to do. People don't even know how to help themselves. Did you see what happened in Afghanistan? People were running for their life. People were running for their dear life. In fact, I saw the way the plane, as the plane was moving, people were running towards the plane. People, in fact, I saw a woman that gave birth. Oh my God, it's a pity. There was a woman that gave birth to a baby. Why she was running, trying to drag herself. Why she was running to enter into the, uh, the plane. I saw the lady. She, she gave birth. Oh, it was, a, it, was a, it, was a, it was a difficult situation. She delivered a baby in the crowd when she was running. We are in a situation that people cannot help themselves. But my question is, some group of boys, some group of youth, they will still allow themselves to be used by the same wicked politicians that have kept them in this situation for years. That is why when I hear about some group of boys in Anambra trying to do campaign for some set of people for election, I think their sense is not okay. I think their sense is not okay. Nobody should be talking about any election at the moment if we don't settle the problem. You know, I, they give birth to me. I was, I, they born me now. He says, since I was born, I have never seen anything change. Every election cycle come, they tell us, oh, this person will be better. Okay, they say, oh, let us rotate it to the, to the north. Or let us ro rotate it. Okay, now is the, is the south. Is the Yoruba man time. The Yoruba man came. He did not solve the problem. Uh, it's Alsa man time. Alsa man time came. He did not solve the problem. There is something that is fundamentally wrong. There is a scientific study that says that you cannot repeat the same mistake for seven times. In fact, if you repeat the same mistake for seven times, seven good times, it means you will never solve the problem. How many times have we had election in Nigeria? And the same problem is going on. Nobody is able to sit down and say, my people, let us solve the problem. Let us solve the problem. Every cycle, they keep on bringing bag of rice, uh, 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 or onions. Oh, it's a shameful thing. They bring, keep on bringing back of rice, onions, five, five naira, and be, they recruit the boys, they recruit the youth, and they continue to be foolish. It's like during election time, I don't know whether they use juju, whether they, whether they use, I don't even know whether they use a combo, that everybody will just forget that they just, they just pass through another hell, or they just finish another hell of, say, five years of another person. It's like every election period, the, another group of people will come and they will be doing another campaign. They will be giving them money. They will be dancing. I see people tooping out. But the same problem still happen. I don't know. During that time, people will just forget. During election, people will just forget their suffering. People will just forget because their drive is to collect 1,000 from the campaign. Their drive is to go and collect a bag of rice. But the bag of rice has never been enough for them because they, 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 collected, they, they just finished collecting another bag of rice five years ago. It did not help their problem. I don't understand what is going on. That is why we are saying that there will be no election in Biafra land because there is no election that has ever helped us. It has never helped us. Rather, we see group of politicians that come and deceive people, collect the wealth, collect the money, they steal the money and they go away. And they come again every five years, every four years, every time, every eight years. They come and be deceiving the people. And yet, they are youth in the community. They are graduates in the community. They are not able to withstand and ask questions. The last time, Two-Face, Two-Face uh, wanted to stage a, pro a protest. They gave him all kinds of threats. People say all kinds of things, and he backed out. Is that a generation that is going to save uh, 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 the future is that a generation that will back out because because of threat of killings is that a generation that will help look at the answers protest came our leader Mazen Amdekanu keep on telling them 
Now you have started. Don't remove your hand. Because when you remove your hand, they will come after you. Where are all those people that did the NSAS protest? All of them, were they not arrested? Some of them, we don't even know where they are today. Some of them, we can't even hear them. You don't even know their whereabouts anymore. Whether they have kidnapped them, whether they are lost. We don't even know all, the, all of them. Today, DJ Switch, we don't even know where she is. Everybody has become on exile. Everybody is running out. Chief Sunday Iboho has gone out, has run out. So, that is the situation that they put you. They, yet, the youth not still open their eyes. It's a terrible situation. That is why we must respect our leader, Mazin Amdekano. Since I was born, I have never seen a man like our leader, Mazin Amdekano, who in the face of difficulties, when other people cannot do it, he say, I can do it. He proved to us beyond every reasonable doubt that it's not every Biafran that love money. It's not every Biafran that can sell their brothers for money. It's not every Biafran that can sell their brother for hotel business. It's not every... Our leader, Mazin Amdekanu, prove us right. The question is, why are they still keeping him in their detention, in their prison, when everything our leader, Mazin Amdekanu, said is true? Olu Nelson said, I'm thinking we should add Friday and Sunday to our, no, no, no. Sunday is already a normal day. We need to, it's a business day. If you want to do any sit at home, it has to be a, on a business day, on a during the week. Something that will cause a proper effect. You understand? Um, Engineer Bone said, don't you think it's time to focus on our so-called political idiot? Tell us what to do now. Saying up, say if Nigerians and young people over here have sense to know their rights and demand for it, the country will be great until then. When we're ready, if not, we'll continue to sink. The problem is that Zainab, thank you for that comment. The problem is that the youth in Nigeria they know the problem, but they are not ready to pay the, the sacrifice, they are not ready to pay the, the consi or to bear the consequences. Ask yourself why the two faced Idibia backed out of that protest. Because they threaten him. They threaten him about his family. They threaten him about his house, about his business, about his, uh, his celebrity business, about his property. And then he backed out. You understand me? That is every politician. The same thing that happened to Two-Face Edibia is the same thing that happened to every politician. Because what they do is that every politician, they know their, 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 their crime. They know the crimes that they have committed. Either they have stolen money, either they are about to steal money, either because of their properties in, in the north or in Abuja or in Lagos. So they will use what they have to threaten them. They will say, okay, if you refuse to do what we say, we're going to use the EFCC after you. Or we are going to uh, confiscate or sophisticate or close down your hotel business or close down your, your, your property or take your property. They will just succumb. It is the same thing that they did to Two-Face Idibia. How I wish I can get any celebrity that will be brave to, to stand up and, and, take his, and, and make a decision and say enough is enough. Just like they did. They already have it. They tried it during answers, but they lack the sustainability. They lack the continuity. That is where the problem is. They always backed out at the height of it when they are already at the point of where they are going to get a solution. They always backed out. How can you, how, if you want to climb a mountain, if you want to climb a mountain, what is the aim of you climbing a mountain? The aim of you climbing a mountain is to get to the top. For you to get to the top, what is going to happen? As you begin climbing the mountain, it's going to be easy. You start climbing it step by step. One, two, three. As you are trying to get to the peak, it becomes difficult. It becomes difficult. So as you are getting close to the peak or to the top of the mountain, if you back out from that point, did you not see that you have not gotten to the top of the mountain? Even as you, you were close to the top of the mountain, if you need to get to the top of the mountain, you need to withstand all the forces that is trying to pull you down in order for you to get to the top of the mountain. That is the point that the youth in Nigeria lack. That is the situation that the youth in Nigeria lack. 